Hi there! In our previous lesson, we talked about the mole concept to express massive substances. In this video, we will talk about how to determine the percentage composition of a compound given its chemical formula and vice versa. If you still haven't watched the previous lesson, you can pause this video and watch that one first to better understand our lesson today. Imagine yourself taking a test and getting 100% remarks on your test result. What does the 100% mean? It means that you got all items correct and have a perfect score. You may have gotten 10 over 10 or 20 over 20. The 100% is called the percentage score. If you want to get your percentage score in a test, you simply divide your score over the total test items and multiply it by 100. For example, we have 20 over 20 times 100 equals 100%. Now why do we need to multiply the percentage score by 100? This is because percentage would also mean an amount in 100 or by 100. The percentage composition of any given compound is identified as the fraction of the amount of each element on the total amount of individual elements present in the compound multiplied by 100. It is simply an expression of a compound's composition in terms of all the elements present. Knowing the percentage composition in a compound is useful in determining the empirical formula of a chemical substance, which will be discussed in higher grade levels. The percentage composition of a compound can be determined from the chemical formula of a compound. The formula to be used is percentage composition equals mass of element in one mole over molar mass of a compound times 100%. From the given formula, you can get the percentage composition by knowing the following data first. One, the elements present in the compounds. Two, the atomic mass of each element. Three, the number of atoms of each element. And lastly, the molar mass. Let's try this sample problem. Muriatic acid, also known as hydrochloric acid, is used as a cleaning agent in homes to get rid of tough stains and molds. Calculate the percentage composition of muriatic acid. I'm going to list down some steps to better understand the calculations. Step 1. List the known and unknown quantities. The known quantities are Mass of hydrogen in one mole, which is 1.001 grams, and mass of chlorine in one mole, which is 35.45 grams. Note that these can be found as atomic mass from the periodic table of elements. Lastly, when we add the two elements, we can get the molar mass of hydrochloric acid, which is equal to 36.45 grams per mole. Next, we're going to look for the percentage of hydrogen and chlorine. Step 2. Calculate the percentage composition of each element by dividing the mass of each element by the molar mass of the compound and multiplying by 100%. Percentage of hydrogen equals 1 gram of hydrogen over 36.45 grams times 100% equals 2.74% of hydrogen. Percentage of chlorine equals 35.45 grams chlorine over 36.45 grams times 100% equals 97.26% of chlorine. Last step, step 3. Review your results. It should total to 100%. 2.74% of hydrogen plus 97.26% of chlorine equals 100%. Therefore, hydrochloric acid is 2.74% hydrogen and 97.26% chlorine.
That was the first way of getting the percentage composition through its chemical formula. The other way is from its given mass data. Percentage composition can be calculated given the masses of each of the elements present in a compound. We will still use the same formula with little changes. Instead of mass of element in one mole, it will be mass of given element. And instead of molar mass of compound, it will be mass of compound. Let's try another problem. A certain newly synthesized compound is known to contain elements zinc and oxygen. When 30 grams of the sample is decomposed, 24.12 grams of zinc remains. Determine the percentage composition of the compound. First, list the known and unknown quantities. The given quantities are mass of compound, which is 30 grams, and mass of zinc, which is 24.12 grams. We're going to find the percentage of zinc and percentage of oxygen. Second, calculate. Here's a hint. Subtract to find the mass of oxygen in the compound. Divide each element's mass by the total mass of the compound to find the percentage by mass. Mass of oxygen equals 30 grams minus 24.12 grams of zinc equals 5.88 grams of oxygen. Now we have both the mass of zinc and oxygen. Percentage of zinc equals 24.12 grams of zinc over 30 grams times 100% equals 80.40% zinc. Percentage of oxygen equals 5.88 grams of oxygen over 30 grams times 100% equals 19.60% oxygen. Lastly, review your result. It should total to 100%. 80.40% zinc plus 19.60% oxygen equals 100%. The calculations sound reasonable because this adds up to 100%. And you can see in the result that by mass, the compound is mostly zinc with 80.40% composition. Now let's wrap things up. The percentage composition is simply an expression of a compound's composition in terms of all the elements present. There are two processes in determining the percentage composition of a compound. First, by calculating given the chemical formula of the compound, and second, given the mass data of the compound. Knowing about percentage composition is very significant in determining the empirical formula of a chemical substance. That's all for now! See you on our next video and don't forget to keep your minds busy! If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel and hit the notification icon for more videos like this.